Hey guys and welcome back to the Coder's Legacy channel. In this video, I'll talk about SymPy and how we can use it to differentiate mathematical expressions in Python. Differentiation is a pretty tough concept and I think that most of us have a lot of trouble doing it by hand, okay? And SymPy actually completely automates that. You're making any algorithm, you don't need to try and make your own differentiation uh, function, okay? SymPy has a simple function and it won't even take you five seconds you can literally differentiate in five seconds. And that's why today's video is actually gonna be pretty short because differentiation in SymPy is super, super simple. Okay, and let's get started right away. Okay, so we just import this function called diff. Okay, that's for differentiate. And we'll just go ahead and make a bunch of expressions that we'll be differentiating on. And of course, I need to create some symbols first. Okay, so um, symbols and x and y. I now have two unknowns, x and y. And I'll create some basic expressions here. Expression two now. And this can be a simple x to the power of three. Expression three can be um, maybe x to the power of two. And maybe we can uh, do this. Take it, all right. Let's create like a fourth order polynomial or something. Four to the power uh, x to the power four, or actually let's just leave it like that, okay? And then plus three x to the power two, plus nine x plus seven, okay? And let me just fix that, all right. Now, how about we also add in some trigonometric functions, okay? We'll also practice differentiating on stuff like cos and sign as well, okay? And something a little more complicated, like sine x and multiplied by cos, cos y, all right? So to actually use these, I need to import them from here, okay, cos and sign imported, and now we're good to go, okay? We have seven expressions, now let's practice differentiation on each one of these. All right, so let's just practice on expression one first, then we'll increase our difficulty gradually, all right? So I'm going to use the diff function, and the first expression, sorry, the first parameter is the expression that you want to differentiate, in our case, expression one. The second parameter is the, is the um, symbol, the symbol by which you want to derivate it by. You know, when we say with respect to x, okay, or with respect to y, this is basically that parameter. So just pass an x, because in the first expression, we want to derivate by x, because it's the only unknown even in there. Okay, so what does this give us? It gives us two, which is correct, because five is a constant, so it's eliminated, and two x, you know, the x just goes, because, you know, n minus one, and two remains. Okay, so let's try this on expression two. This should give us 3x to the power 2, yes. Okay, now what if I wanted to uh, differentiate this twice? You might think that we need to call differentiate again on what's returned, okay? Oh, and just to be clear, what the, what's being returned here isn't a string, okay? It's an actual object, okay? And then we can actually use the functions like sub and solve on them. So if I do this, if I substitute the value of 2 into x, what does this give us? It gives us 12, which is correct, because x to the power 2, which is 2 to the power 2, 4, multiplied by 3, that's 12, okay? So I'm just letting you know that what's being returned are actual objects that we can use later on in calculation, okay? Anyways, how do we differentiate this multiple times? Okay, let's say I want to differentiate it twice. There are two ways we can do this. Either pass in x twice into the parameters, in which case it's gonna differentiate it twice, and we should get, yes, six x, okay? If you want to differentiate it once more, then just pass it in one more time, and it gives us six, okay? But there's an easier way to do this, which is just to pass in the number of times you want to differentiate it, okay? By default, this is one, but we can increase it to three, or let's just do it with two first, just so I can show you guys, okay, six x, I increase it to three and it'll now 
make it six, okay? Increase it to four and it should become zero. All right, great. Now let's try expression three. Expression three has two unknowns, x and y, okay? Now, of course, we can just choose to derivate just by x, okay? And that gives us that value. You can verify that yourself. And we can also choose to do this by y, which should result in a very similar answer. Yeah, okay. Uh, just the powers are different with for x and y, but we can also do it for both x and y, okay? This d differentiates them both, okay? You can see over here that we get that answer. And what else is there? There's something else I wanted to mention. Ah, yes. Well, let me do plus y and plus x over here. I just want you to know, this is a very basic fact actually in differentiation and integration, but I'm just letting you guys know that if you differentiate it by x, the y term will disappear, okay? Because it's regarded as a constant. When you're differentiating something, you know, you know, like y with respect to x, it's gonna be treated as a constant, okay? So it's gone, eliminated. All right, so that's expression three. Expression four is very similar. I'm just gonna do it just so you guys see differentiation being applied on a you know, big polynomial. And yeah, that's pretty standard. Let's differentiate it three times. What do we get? 24x. Okay, now let's try on this, let's try this on expression five. Let's differentiate it with respect to x this should give us uh, minus sine x, yeah, good. Okay, let's try this on expression six. It should give us cos x and yeah. Wait, what, hold on. Oh, of course, it's, it's y, okay? So I need to differentiate this with respect to y and this gives us cos y, great. Now, if I try this on expression seven, okay? This is gonna be a bit more complicated. It'll give us some extra terms maybe. No, hold on. Why is that? Oh, oh, of course, sorry. Uh, I don't know how that happened. Now we're differentiating expression seven. Okay, all right, I need to brush up on the maths a bit, but yeah, that's working. So yeah, cool. All right, so this is differentiation and that's really all there was to it. Uh, the only things that are really here in differentiation, the only features we really have are differentiating it normally and then differentiating it multiple times. That's really all there was to it. I just showed you a bunch of examples so you guys uh, are fully aware of how to use it and all. Okay, and several of the problems that we dis discuss later on, like Newton's method, like Taylor polynomial series that we'll discuss later on in you know a separate video. So all of that, will actually use differentiation very heavily. It's very important, okay? It's simple in SymPy. SymPy makes it easy, but it's very vital all the same, okay? So yeah, that's the end of this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like, leave a comment, leave some feedback, okay? We have, the next video is gonna be on integration. Then we have a bunch of other interesting content after that, like limits and a bunch of other bonus content. Then we'll talk about some real life examples, like I mentioned, Newton's method, etc., etc. All right, so stay tuned.